is held to an open shame. While 22,400 pours in, and $600 kills us. It has nothing to do with money at this point. Jeb Crafts, take a small, independent cafe owner who employs five baristas, typically young and ones who are just entering the workforce for example. If the cafe's price structure for coffee drinks and nibbles is based on $8 per hour labor, and the government imposes a $15 per hour minimum wage, the owner will have to raise prices to the public. If the public then curtails purchases, the owner has to either reduce hours the shop is open, or reduce labor cost by making one of the baristas redundant. The purpose of accepting an entry-level position, the kind that pays minimum wage, is not to establish a lifelong career at a living wage, but to get one's foot in the door and earn work experience. If one wants to increase compensation for one's time and energy, one must either be able to increase one's value to the employer by taking on additional duties, or improve one's skills, perhaps by further education in one's free time so as to become a more attractive employee to another employer. Employers do compete with each other by offering higher wages to recruit and retain quality employees with skills and work ethics. There is another side to this which is that labor unions lobby governments to increase the minimum wage because the contracts for their memberships wages are often min wage plus some amount, and thus a minute wage hike represents an increase for their members and of course the dues that flow into the union's coffers. Populist politicians push min wage increases as effective vote buyers from a public that often does not realize they will bear the price burden. And it's still pouring in. Here's 360. Pledges for a year. We're opening the Gideon board. Here's 2,400, 540, 120, 1,200, 240, 180, Two thousand four hundred, six hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, three thousand six hundred dollars, four hundred and eighty dollars, three thousand six hundred and six hundred dollars, two hundred and forty, two thousand eight hundred and twenty, six hundred. Chill, down one an accomplice of a hawker, gambler, or swindler who acts as an enthusiastic customer to entice or encourage others. What a tangled web of tunnels one finds digging in the rabbit warrens. One starts with one hole, and finds a nest, only to learn it leads to other nests, none of which satisfy the purpose of the digging, the truth. I don't even know what the truth movement means. There are so many branches of divergent and often counterposed factions of speculation. Not that facts are easy to come by. I do suppose that is worthwhile exposing fraudulent hucksters. I wonder though whether tying up people's time and energy chasing and shining light on shadows in the warrens isn't of benefit to the wielders of real power. In the end, I don't care if a villain is a Satanist, Zionist, Papist, Mason, Banker, Industrialist, or just plain opportunist. I care what they are doing under color of law, and how they might be stopped. Cutting through the labyrinthine maze to the core of the source of corrupted power, one must start with a return to sound money, gold and silver, and a reduction in the size and scope of government power, which under manipulation, provides the levers of force by law upon the populace. To the benefit of a few, the more numerous the laws, the more corrupt the government. Atsitos.
What is Christianity? Pain, gimmicks, words, massage, or life and death. I said it last night. You'd have to tie me down with ropes. If we were so close to victory that something I had in my hand would give it. Yet carnal Christians when it gets close to victory, will duck out. God brings it so close that those that couldn't give a thousand could be the ones that bring it over. But you sit there glued to your chair. Husbands and wives, if I were married to either one of you, I'd get up and kick both of you. If you got somebody sleeping, go jump in the middle of their gut. This is war! We ought never to bomb down! Come on, Joe, I won't hit you! We ought never to bomb down! What 400 to go! Why didn't you do it earlier? I don't care what Gene Scott looks like! God's honor's at stake! from a people that grab a hymn book and cherubically say, I'll go where you want me to go as long as it doesn't cost me a few piddling dollars. 400, 100, 200, 100. Well over after I yell at you. Why didn't you do it because you love God? You say, I'll take it back. God will smite you if you do. You know you should have given it. We'll be one.